crazy towns 10 minutes or less i'm jonas and i'm tnt9 i'm it explosive one start the timer boom tnt yo what makes in a per what makes a person annoying to you <laughs> like like is there a set thing that you happens set me up right now <laughs> you set me you're up. like whoa jonas somebody even talks <laughs> Um, no, like I mean, do you do you feel like it's person dependent, or like is there certain things that some people do that you're just like, man, I can't stand you, yo. Like, <laughs> like for me, yes, it, it it tends to be person dependent. Yeah, for the for the most part, like it's not like if somebody does this certain thing that I find them annoying. Okay, but. Why are you laughing? What do you what do you got? I don't know, dude. I just feel like it's like a set up question. Like you're like, I wonder if Dynamite might find me annoying. Oh yeah, no, no, I don't care. I don't care what no. you say. I'm okay. <laughs> no, um no, it's fine. I Huh. Okay, so if I have to think about some of the people in my life who I've found the most annoying to me. Yeah. They have to be uh people who can't manage their time. Versus just wanting to like hold conversations. Okay, what do you? I guess what do you mean by that? Like I, I I've encountered people who like when like you. I know one of your biggest things is when people infringe on your time. I'm using quotation fingers. Waste my time. Yes, like yes, yeah, and, yeah. And wait, so that's that's a pet peeve for sure. It's it's like an infringement. Like some people have like spatial infringement. Like people who are like too close. oh too close. Like I hate close talkers. I can handle a close talker. You know. You, yeah, yeah, exactly. Does that make them annoying, or you can step back? Because it depends if they get the hint or not. I don't. I mean, you know, like I, it's a it's a level of I'm still uncomfortable with it, but it's not so uncomfortable where it's like I can't you know tolerate this person's existence. Yeah. People yeah. who who infringe upon your time with with conversation or infringe upon their own time and can't like I guess I'm thinking like like coworkers a lot when I'm saying this. Um, I've had coworkers who do this. Oh like, yeah, uh, yeah. That make, yeah that makes sense, man. Yeah, like that's a big yeah big thing for me is like. Like I just want to go home and you're still talking or <laughs> about something that doesn't matter, right? Yeah, because yeah. I mean I'm cool if like I don't mind if things take a long time, mm -hmm. but if you like say, hey, I need you to do this thing, and then you do it, and then they come back and say, hey, you know that thing I had you do? Never mind, don't do that. Do this instead. And you're like, okay, I'll do that. And they're like, you know that thing? Hey, do that. just wait till the end of the effing day and give me the last thing you need done, man. Mm -hmm. I don't need you. To, I, I, now I've just wasted three different times. <laughs> You know, or, you know, it's like things like that. Those things drive me crazy because yeah. the time is the only thing that I don't. I have a finite supply of man. Like, yeah, you're like you can wrong. waste my money. You can wait. You can know. I don't like when people waste my money, but like, I'd much rather have my money wasted than my time. <laughs> it's just like, I, well, I also try to pride myself on trying to be efficient with efficient with my use of my time. So that so when someone clogs that up, dude, it's like, oh, I'm gonna take you down to the <laughs> down to the. And, and see, with me, I'm not so much a stickler for time and efficiency isn't, like, super important to me. I'm just like, whatever, let it happen, let it happen. But on the same note, I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Right, right. I and I don't, I don't like it when other people stop me from doing what I want to do when I want to do what I want to do. That makes sense. Yeah, that's why, that's why I have problems with dating, yeah. too. So I don't <laughs> I mean, that's fair because there's going to be some compromise. And I'm, you know, even still, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to even internally come to the idea that there has to be a level of compromise. And to facilitate relationships, you, you have to have some degree of I will listen to what you have to say. Well, right, even yeah. though deep down inside I could give a shit less. And that goes with friendships, too. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not just girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever. And, and to a certain extent, you know, to to have these people understand that you do value them, you have to uh, give a little bit of yourself. And people love to talk. And that's one of the that's one of the things that I, I really do enjoy is like uh, I like to get people talking. And yeah, just me too. Listen to them talk. Yeah. I yeah. don't mind doing that. Like, if I'm out, if we're out at a club or we're out somewhere, I would prefer if, if the person's more of a talker than me and I can just kind of go off of that. Well, what's interesting is I'm a giant talker, but mm -hmm. I also love when I get people going and I can just keep feeding them and they just keep going. And I realized this, I think, the other day. I think, in a, I think what it is is I think I enjoy connecting with people. And, and listening to somebody talk about themselves is connecting with them. You know what I mean? So it's like, not necessarily that I even give a crap what they're talking about or think they're an awesome person, but like it's like that 
I don't know, because if someone's pouring all their stuff at you, most of the time they're like, oh, this person's okay or whatever. But I think I enjoy the connect connecting with people. Like when I'm, when I'm talking to someone new and like we're just chit chatting, whether it's like somebody I'm texting with, like whether it's a girl I just met or whatever, whether it's, whether it's going to be a dating situation or just we're like, I enjoy learning about other people, even if I couldn't care less what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's why I like interviewing people because it's great to just be like to keep throwing it out. I'm like, oh wait, you said this. Well, tell me more about that. And they just they'll just see. I, go forever, it's, dude. It's so crazy. I'm not gonna get too deep into the psychology of it. I feel like I do the same activities, but with a different motive. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because I enjoy connecting with people so much. It's <laughs> I feel it's more you. like it's a performance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I mean <laughs> there, just like, oh, I'm Will Smith today, dude. I'm gonna win Best Actor yeah, there, by being the social guy. <laughs> hey, I'm the social guy. Yeah, you, but the you craziest guy in town. Yay. I sing karaoke and dance. Yeah, you know what's funny about that is a uh, uh, Couchman <laughs> Pete was like. <laughs> Couchman Pete literally said to me the other day, he goes, because he, he asked me about the karaoke if I had sent, sent, sent you the videos. And he goes, well, he goes, that man's such an introvert. We go out. He's like, and I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Now, you, <laughs> you get him out. It's like you don't even know who he is. <laughs> I, go, I go, that happens every time we go He's out like, anywhere. I've never seen him do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, crazy. no, you got to go out with him more. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you turn it on. I was yeah. like, it's just exhausting. <laughs> hey, not to mention, yo, you get the alcohol in you, it's going to be a little bit different. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. And I, f I, like, I feel amazing <laughs> right now in life, so yeah, I'm active right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's get it moving. You know what another thing that annoys me when people do? What's dude, that? Is when someone's like, hey, can you show me how to do X? And then you start showing them, and then they're like, oh, no, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it this way. And you're like, <laughs> then why the hell did you ask me to show you how to do it? If you're just going to do it however the hell you want to do it anyways, why are you – I guess that comes back to wasting my time. I'm like, <laughs> I'm taking my time out of my day to show you how to do this, and you're just going to say, no, I'm going to do it a different way? Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I mean, that, that sounds like a very annoying situation, but I wouldn't single those people out <laughs> as my, oh, my annoyance no, tier list. No, but yeah, no, it's uh, not. But Jonas, just, I find that you get annoyed by people way more than I do. People are like, just lame, I feel dude. like if we were waiting in a long line – yeah. And some lady were waiting to have her phone fixed by the technician at Walmart, and we waited for 10 minutes. You would be the guy that would fold his arms and sigh before <laughs> I would. <laughs> Depends. Uh, it no, 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 no. No, wait, no. It, de depends. it depends. It depends Definitely. if it's. It de and here's why it depends. Oh, well, I'm not, I probably would. Yes, you're right. I'm not. But <laughs> okay. he, here's where my level of annoyance comes in. <clears throat> it depends on. If the situation is being made worse by the ignorant person, oh, it one hundred percent always is. Yeah, being like made so. Worse. If it's like if if the person behind the counter doesn't know what they're doing, or it's like it's a problem that just takes a long time, I'm understanding of that because it is what it is. Uh, but if like the lady's like, let me find my checkbook, digging through her purse, oh, this pen doesn't work. Hold on, honey, will you get out to the car and go get? Lady, give him your goddamn debit card and get out the damn way. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Like we've been in three person lines and Jonas has said something before. Because <laughs> they're stupid, yo. Don't be dumb. Because they're stupid. <laughs> Quit being dumb, yo. <laughs> I only have a. Li it all comes back to wasting my time, yo. That is what it always comes back to. Who, Don't waste my time. Who has worse road rage, Jonas? Me or you? Uh, my road rage has went way down. It is going way down, but but I in here. Well, okay. here's what you, I do. You though. issued your own butt, so yeah. Let's go. Oh, absolutely. Here's what I do though. I'm more of like if you annoy me, I'll like talk shit at you, like like I care, but like it's like it goes from like it goes from like two to eight to two in like half a second. It's like oh you son of a bitch, why are you in my way? And then I get around you and it's fine. But there's people who will like literally just go on and on. When I was in Cle no, Cleveland, there's people that take it to a physical level. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In Cleveland, dude, I feel like Cleveland traffic was worse than here. I, I can agree. with Yeah, that. and like driving in the snow, and like because there's mm. variable factors there, man. That my, my, yeah, I don't know. You don't have much road rage, do you? Excuse me, do you? No, not, not any more. I've gotten out of my car and knocked on people's windows. <laughs> I have never done that. So uh, no, I mean, I was I was an aggressive youth, and I've, I've tried <laughs> I've tried to come down from that. You're just like knock knock. What were you doing? And they're like, ah, 
<laughs> hey, hey, yo, I'm, I'm an intimidating guy, and I use it to my my own ends. I'm hey. not even gonna lie, I hey. have uh, many, it. many times. It's still all do. Right. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Do. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Uh, for channels, DNT. Oh, uh, we out. <laughs>